Hey guys, this is Ken the Media Guy here at the Veterans History Museum of the Carolinas. And remember, that is theveteransmuseum.org. Got to go to our website. This is where we're going to post all these videos. We're doing these little video blogs because we know everybody's inside because of this little thing called a pandemic. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about all the cool stuff that we have here at the museum. And you can't come in and look at it right now. But we're going to show it to you and we're going to talk about it a little bit so you can have a virtual tour from the comfort of your own home. So what okay. we got here, Tom? So, Ken, this is a German Luger <clears throat> made in 1917. It has the Imperial German markings on it. It is what is called a matching serial number Luger. And to find one in this kind of condition from World War I, uh, it's, it's a pretty rare piece, but it, and it's, uh, it's in very good shape. Magazine is removed for safety, and the serial number on it is, is right here, and I can read it, 85-5887-37. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you, you, there was something about serial numbers with this gun. Right. Well, tell so me about that. The Germans marked everything that they made, all every piece, Similar to what Henry Ford did with... Uh, hey, that's my line. You stole my line. I did. I was getting ready to say that. <laughs> Ford marked everything with his little signature, F-O-R-D. Every, every bolt. So if anyway. you have a Ford Jeep from World War II... Um, yeah, it's got Ford written all over Every it. bolt, every nut, every stamping has the F script on it. So anyway. So the Germans were the same yeah, way. They were. And we did quite a bit of it too, if you look at a bunch of our uh, weapons that we used in World War One, World War II. Uh, even Colt does it now with the M4s. So <clears> this <throat> matching serial numbers, that makes this piece worth a little more, right? It does. It, it most certainly does. <clears throat> and what that pretty much tells us is that it did not go through a rebuild program. Mm. The Germans rebuilt a lot of their weapons as parts wore out, and the same thing we did, like this rifle here, <clears throat> went through an arsenal rebuild program. So also. this gun was probably yeah. not used in World War II. Probably not. Because it, it would have been stamped been... with a swastika, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. So that's an original piece from World War I. That's correct. All right, very good. And okay. we got all kinds of good stuff here, so That's right. please. Come down and visit well, as soon we, as we open As soon again. as we open up again, please come down and visit us and come see this stuff in person. We'll let you look up close. We'll let you handle it. We'll let you that's look right. at it. We're, we uh, are hands-on We are very hands-on here. So yep. this is just one of the main things that uh, we have here at the museum. So And stay tuned. More videos are to come. And, Go to that YouTube channel. All right. See you on the next video.